Okay, good morning, everyone. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Morning, sir. Okay. Um, I tried to say hello to you this morning, but maybe uh, you didn't hear anything, but that's fine. Okay, nice to meet you again, even just your picture. Oh, Delita Maharani, I, I saw your picture. It's nice. Where is that? Your profile picture, you're standing with, I think it's Japanese outfit. Yes, they're in my high school. Oh, uh, in your high school. Wow, that looks great. I remember when I joined a Japanese uh, cultural festival, I wore a Japanese outfit. That, that was nice. And um, some of my friends said, oh, you look like Japanese. Well, thanks. <laughs> All right. I, I hope one day that Delita, Zakia, Evelina, Dinda, and Muhammad Ilham Zalfi, who have joined with me, now we are waiting for Fidia Elfi. One day, hopefully, you can go to Japan to continue your studies or to work maybe one day, hopefully. I'm sending you again the link to our attendance here. Silakan diisi. Absensi meeting ke lima. Um, before I begin our course this morning, I have checked the attendance here with me. Um, hold on. I noticed in our portal, di portal kita ada di sini 18, uh, 18 mahasiswa. Muhammad Hadil Mufti ini uh, jarang hadir ya. I just want to cross check with all of you. Muhammad Hadil Mufti, kemudian Irfan Abdurrahman, Vidya, oke. Okay. Ini yang sudah saya cek, uh, conversation practice one, your videos. Kemudian Jelita Marani, yes, I found your videos. Ufaizah bersama Zakia Muhammad Shah, uh, Muhammad Rifki Iksani, uh, Fahrean Shah Jul, Dinda Sahida, Tiara Regina Karim, Andre Octaviano, yes, I found your video, Andre. And we have uh, Alexander Rivera. Ini Dadang Suhendar, ini uh, saya, saya jarang bertemu online ya. Dadang Suhendar, kemudian yang tidak ada video conversation practice one, itu uh, seperti Yasashi, Ar-Rahman, dan Muhammad Iqbal. Ini saya nggak ketemu nih videonya. Irfan dan Muhammad Hadir Mufti. Okay. So, um, Evelina Limbernia dan Muhammad Ilham Zalfi. Ini videonya nggak ketemu di ini ya di, di forum, di email saya. Nanti coba saya cek kembali. But in case I don't find your video, uh, can you resend your video once again to me so that I can provide you the oral feedback? Jadi nanti... Uh, Okay, try to send me again the video to the email that I have informed you before. The, the group, Google Groups for the English uh, conversation too. Okay, so I have here with me, this is the table. Um, as you can see, your name, uh, meskipun kehadiran online. I really appreciate your effort to, to attend this class this morning and then your discipline, your process, your progress. I really appreciate that. Okay, so you you deserve it, okay? Um, bagi saya nilai itu sesuatu yang harus diperjuangkan dan you deserve it, bukan not something taken for granted. Okay, okay so we still, we have our meeting five and I'm still uh, waiting for your next video for next week. I'd like to go on with uh, today's material. We're going to play video after this. I hope that you could um, hear the sounds later on. Okay, so this is for today. We continue our talking about transportation and travel. Um, so this is the uh, subtopics for meeting five on vacation, traveling by car, uh, bus and train travel, and air travel. Previously, we have talked about commuting, learning to drive, driving problems, buying a car, and um, before, four subtopics uh, last week. Now we're talking about the other four topics, uh, this four subtopics. 
Um, it's not going to be that difficult for you. <laughs> Just make it simple. But now, as you can see, this picture we have on vacations. Uh, one, two, uh, three, four, four people. Uh, from the picture, it's it looks to me that they they dream or they wish on something for their vacation. And then um, my question is, okay, before we move on to the picture discussion, I'd like you to see the list of vocabulary right over here. We have one until 22 a list of vocabulary. Um, who wants to try to pronounce this? Siapa yang mau coba membacakannya? Anyone? Um, Evelyn, sir. Okay, try. <laughs> Go on. Beach house. Uh, bunga low. Castle, exotic, far away place, hammock, hike, hiker, mountain bike, mountain climbing, packet store, <coughs> rental car, scenery, scenic, sea, snow cape, travel again, traveler, vacationer, field, insights. <coughs> your hostel okay thank you evelina uh, there are some uh, words that might not be correctly pronounced tapi agak sedikit ini seperti ini uh, namanya exotic exotic or exotic uh, ada ka di sini bukan exotic exotic mm, and then uh, coba baca ini uh, evelina Number 17. Okay, sir. Travel mm -hmm. again. Okay. Um, yeah, bunyinya again, but this word has G in it. So it is pronounced agent, travel agent. Okay. Um, uh, okay. All right. Some students um, are still waiting to be uh, accepted, but. Mm -hmm. I have already approved everyone. So, um, Karin, okay, all right. So we see this list of vocabulary. We have bungalow, bungalow. This is bungalow, beach house. Um, we already have this one, beach house in close to Bohanta University, I guess. Uh, castle, uh, far away places, far away places. And you know, why? why do they, like to travel the whole world just to see beaches karena orang-orang yang berada di London kemudian di um, New York kemudian Sydney kota-kota besar di Tokyo itu mereka suka liburan ke sini because they want to feel the breeze uh, feel the vibe of being silent and peace and quiet karena um, you know famous celebrities even and rich people sometimes they want to feel the the luxury of being silent in very nice places like this. A hammock, hike, a hiker. This is verb and hiker. Okay, now all of these words. Um, is there any words that you never heard before? Ada kosa kata yang belum pernah didengar dari 22 kosa kata ini? Uh, snow caped snow vista cape. sir uh, mana vista okay vista yeah, yeah vista it's a sort of uh, the place where you can let me check i'd like to read this word from um i'm not quite sure either saya juga kurang begitu ini let me check the vocabulary in here okay it says um a distant view through or along an avenue or opening. A distant view, it's berarti vista itu kalau di, diartikan sama seperti pemandangan dari jauh gitu loh. Jadi kalau misalnya kalian berdiri di atas puncak gunung, memandang ke bawah alam sekitarnya itu disebut dengan vista. It's a distant view through 
through or along. Jadi melalui dari atas kemudian ke bawah memandang sekitar itu vista. Uh, view, view itu view itu kata kerja memandang. Uh, kayak Muhammad Hadil Mufti, oke. Okay. Alright, so youth hostel, hostel ini hostel ini di bawah dari hotel. Jadi um, dia lebih kecil daripada hotel. That's hostel. Previously it was regarded as a as a negative place, but now people tend to have another meaning for this. Youth hostel is only for young people, for students like you. Okay, so that's the list of the vocabulary. Scenic, this is scene from dari kata kerja scene, scenic, see. Okay, so it's not going to be that difficult for all of you. Now, I'm going to ask you about this picture. Um, what are the students dreaming of going on vacation? Who wants to say about this man? Where does he want to go for a vacation? This beach. Beach. Okay, he, he plans to go to the beach. Okay, good. And what about this uh, this woman? Where does he want to go? Look at the picture. Airport. airport. Yeah, it's, it's airport. And then he wants to travel to the airport to meet whom? Uh, what do you think? Uh, who will be the people that she wants to meet with? Her family. Good, perfect. It's uh, her family. Look, look at, they're hugging. So hugging and smiling are universal uh, meaning, okay? universal facial expression. So whenever you go in the world, You want to smile, tease. So it means that you welcome people, and then you hug. It when you hug, it means that you have a very close relationship with the person that you hug. So it's it's uh, being so friendly and, and nice at that point. And what about this man, the third picture? Where does he mountain. plan to? Mountain, good mountain, and then hike. Hike, yes. He wants to go hiking, okay. Or he wants to hike. He plans to hike, um, okay. And then, what door is this? Uh, okay. So sama seperti saya dulu pergi camping, hiking. I remember when I was about to hike the the mountain. In the first level of the mountain, first level, sebagian bawah dari gunung itu, usually people provide uh, spaces, youth hostel. Mereka sebut youth hostel kalau di di US atau di Australia. Um, it, di sana yang akan mendaki gunung bisa nginap di situ, and then you can travel outside to the mountain. Biasanya dibatasi maksimal seminggu, atau oh, tiga hari atau empat hari, depending on your Uh, stock, your livestock or your food, your supplies. And the fourth picture, what is this woman planning on vacation? This one. Renting a car to go to the coastal. Renting a car. Oh, okay, good. You can read this uh, vocabulary right over here. Rent a car. That's okay. Good. It's perfect. That he wants to travel and then he wants to rent a car. And now, question number three: How long will each vacation last? What about this one? How long? Try to just imagine how long. Um, usually, people go to beach, uh, to the to the beach, uh, for how long? Maybe days or weeks or months, depending. Okay. A day. Yes. How many? How long? A day, satu hari biasanya. Oh, satu hari, one day. Yeah, that, that, that makes sense. Day because uh, when you stay um, in the beach area, 
for a week or two weeks, you will feel bored because you see all the same stuff um, unless you stay there. And um, I'd like to ask you question number number. Um, pause now. I don't think it's really worth it to ask. Number six. Which vacation would you enjoy the most? And least, why? Who wants to try number six? Which vacation would you enjoy most? Maybe you don't see it here, but you want to say something? You want to try? Um, anyone? Uh, mm -hmm. You'll have? Uh, going abroad. Going abroad. Okay, that's a nice mm. option. Uh, where is the place exactly? If I want to know, if I may know, where? Paris. Paris. Oh, that's, yeah. uh, that's merciful. That's, that's nice, nice option, Paris. Um, you will go to uh, Eiffel. <laughs> Eiffel Tower, yes. right? Yes. Good. That's, that, that's nice. And okay, so we have here. Um, okay, so we move on. This is about on vacation. We would like to go to the next slide. This is about traveling by car. Okay, so you see here one, two, three, four, five, six, six pictures listed on the left side of the screen. Now, um, before we proceed to these pictures, I'd like you to read the list of vocabularies right over here. We have 27. Um, kalau yang sudah melihat kesakatannya, that's good. Tapi kalau baru, baru lihat, that's, that's even better because you can read it exactly like that. All right, so we would like to invite who, who wants to read. Kalau tadi Evelina, now who wants to read? Um, this list of vocabularies. Say, sir. Okay, sure. Silakan. Access road, backseat, barrier, billboard, access chain lane, expressway or freeway, family reunion, fill up, full service station, highway, highway patrol, interstate, main road, night clerk, pump gas, registration desk or front desk, Rest stop, road kill, road trip, roadside model, shoulder, speeding ticket, station attendant, tool, tool boat, tool road, turnpike. Okay, good. Thank you, uh, Muhammad uh, Ilham Zalfi. We have this list of vocabularies now. It's um, from 1 into 27. Mm, is there any words that you might not never heard before? You never heard? This is the word before. Ada nggak kosa kata yang uh, belum pernah di dengar? Um, kalau um, yang kelima, yes. yes? Hmm? Pump gas, uh, number 15, sir. Number 15, pump gas. Pump gas, pump gas, it's, uh, it's right here. Pump, pump gas itu dia tempat mengisi, kalau mobil, kalau di Amerika itu minyak namanya gas. Pam gas, jadi uh, pergi ke tempat misalnya SPBU, that's pump gas. Okay, and uh, we have its night clerk, main road, interstate, interstate itu tempat kita belok kanan atau kiri, interstate, highway patrol, uh, patroli polisi, highway, misalnya di kalau balik jalur uh, Padang Bukit Tinggi misalnya kan, atau Padang Solo, itu kalau malam jam 10 jam 11 malam ke atas sampai pagi biasanya ada highway patrol usually karena banyak kadang ada truk-truk membawa barang-barang selundupan seperti itu ya that's the, that's the purpose of the highway patrol road trip i believe you know already about this one and then um, exact change lanes right over here as you can see exact change change it means you you pay for the quarters um, i have oh I have an example of the dollar, for example, one dollar. Nanti ada um, change namanya, coin. 
I think I have it here with me, but I'm going to show it later after the break. Take change and then expressway or freeway. Uh, ini ada beberapa trans, bahkan kalau di Jakarta pun ada yang tidak menggunakan ini. Ya, I think uh, main road seperti uh, I know back seat. You already know about this one. Uh, full service station. Ini tempat mobil-mobil uh, itu berhenti. Kemudian you, you get full service mobilnya, minyaknya. Kemudian you get uh, a certain kind of attention for your cars. Speeding ticket, nah ini dia. Speeding ticket number 22. Uh, kalau di, di kita kan polisinya pol polantas ya maksud saya. Itu kalau cepat dikejar, kemudian disuruh berhenti. Nah, itu kan capek kerjanya itu. Kalau di luar negeri itu di Amerika ada, di mobil itu ada namanya uh, semacam uh, speeding uh, meter. Jadi kalau cepat, polisi tinggal menembakkan, menodongkan semacam gini loh pengukur suhu. Nah nanti digitukan ke mobilnya nanti bisa dibaca berapa speeding ticketnya. Nanti bes besoknya datang bill ke rumah membayar sekian dolar. Karena anda sekali dua kali tiga kali enggak baru nanti dipanggil ke pengadilan disidang oleh uh, district court namanya pengadilan. Nah, kalau ada di YouTube di Facebook ada itu contoh-contohnya. All uh, toll booth, toll road, turnpikes, all these, all these things are uh, related to traveling uh, by car. This is about the family, right? Number one, two, three, four, five, six. Now let we discuss this this uh, picture. The first one. What is the family doing in this story? What are they doing? Road trip, so. Good, road trip. Uh, it's, a, it's a road trip. And then, is there any other option? Packing. What? Ilham? Mm -hmm. Packing, sir. Uh, packing, good. This is, the first picture is, is showing the family is doing uh, packing. Yeah? Uh, packing, great. That's a good answer. All of these pictures from one to six are showing um, what? Uh, Tiara answered the question by saying uh, road trip. And if we choose another option, what is that? Is there any other option other than road trip? Yes. Family reunion, good. It's a family reunion. It's a, it's a great answer for that. It's a family uh, reunion. And we have the next question. Where are they going actually? Mm -hmm. Where are they going? Look at their purpose. It's a, I think it's a different house, you see? I think it's somewhere in California. If you live in California, you can see palm trees, uh, North Beach, around the coastal areas. Tapi yang sebelah, sebelah barat, California itu yang lebih hangat uh, cuacanya, ketimbang yang sebelah kanan seperti di New York atau di Washington DC. It's quite uh, a bit different. Um, I think it's question number two. Where are they going? Who wants to try to answer this? Mm -hmm. tahu. Countryside. Countryside. Good. Countryside. That's that's a good uh, good answer. And yeah, it's roadside. Uh, this one is roadside motel. Ada hostel, ada motel. Kalau motel itu dia uh, buka 24 hours and then you can stay with your family. Uh, tapi jumlah Jumlah kamarnya memang hanya untuk untuk malam, misalnya siang bisa kosong. That's, that's a motel. And not accepting people more than three or four, biasanya kalau uh, motel. Yeah. And 
we have here, uh, okay, the answer number two, where are they going? Actually, they're going to their uh, family reunion. It's uh, their family right here. And then we go on to see, mm, Miles, I don't think you need to answer, but that one, what time do they leave? Okay, um, what do you think? What time do they leave? What time do they leave? Just, just imagine what time. In the morning, sir. In the morning, in the morning. Of course, that's that's a great answer. Of course, people start traveling in the morning. Uh, it's a bit rare for for people to travel at night. Kalau di Indonesia kita ada waktu Indonesia Barat, waktu Indonesia Timur, bersama. But if you travel by car in Indonesia, you need to. Uh, you only have sometimes the same time zone. Waktu Indonesia Barat. Barat. But in the US, the US yang saya ketahui, bahkan bawa mobil aja di sekeliling negara itu bisa. You can travel by car, but then you need to refill the gas, gas station namanya tempat SPBU. And then you pay. Nah, dulunya ada ini, exact change kalau bayar pakai cash. But now, I think it's changing. People pay the gas with uh, swiping their card. Menggesek kartu, uh, kemudian kalau di sana sistem online-nya memang sangat uh, ketat ya. Uh, dan uh, CIA or F F FBI usually pay attention to um, the existence of online transaction. They really pay attention to that. So if you do spamming, skimming, or um, phishing, then... Once you get caught, uh, you will put to jail. Nah, kalau udah masuk penjara itu sudah, oh, wow, it's not going to be nice to be there. Night clerk, okay. All right, so this is traveling by car. Um, and, okay, all right. The, the rest of the questions remained unanswered because uh, the book itself didn't provide the X or the procedures that how students answer the question. We move on to the next one. It's about bus and train travel. Okay, so we we stop in here, um, 33 minutes already. We pause for about for about three minutes, and I'll be right back. I'll see you in session two. Please click on the Zoom link that I have sent you before. Okay, I'll see you in uh, session two. Uh, nanti juga akan saya bahas di session kedua tentang uh, conversation practice one yang uh, saya cek mungkin ada belum belum ada yang uh, mengirimkannya mungkin ya. Okay, so I'll see you in session two. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.